Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our arms. So I'm going to start off with the dynamic stretching. The greatest stretch, 4 to 5 repetitions, each side holding the stretch only for 3 to 5 seconds, nothing much more than that. We're not static stretching. Remember that we don't want to hold poses for long. We don't want to do static stretching of our muscles and our tendons pre-workout. That's a post-workout routine. Once done with the greatest stretch, I prefer to sit in a deep squat for at least 10 to 15 seconds just for good hip mobility. You can also choose to do that early in the morning. You need not do it pre-workout. I just happen to do it pre-workout so that I don't miss it. But once you are off your bed, you can immediately sit in a deep squat for at least a minute and then you can start off your day. I would say that's a great way to start off your day. And the last addition is the bird dog pose making sure I build on to my core strength and stability. A simple and easy exercise, raising our arm and one leg at a time, holding there for 5 to 10 seconds. Now 5 to 10 seconds is a big zone, I know that. It's just because initially you might not be able to balance yourself quite nicely. So it's, it's not a problem, you can keep learning on to this. Once done with these, we can start with our first exercise. So for the first exercise, I'm going to train my triceps. And this time I chose to do all the exercises only with cables. So let's see how it goes. Spoiler alert, it went really well. So yeah, tricep extensions. I have done two warm-up sets, just 10 repetitions to just get the position right and feel a little bit of blood flowing in my joints. And then I started off with four sets, 20 repetitions. And as you can see, full range of motion. As I go down, I let my forearms touch my biceps and from there I push back up with complete extension of my triceps. Now, for some reason I chose to do the exercise seated because I wanted to see if seated tricep extensions on the cable behind the head feel better than standing. They did. I mean, I had less to balance. I was comfortably seated. My focus was more on triceps. It's not trying to position myself really hard. I would say it's a preference. Standing ones are fine. Bent over ones are fine. Seated ones are fine too, as long as the range of motion stays pretty much the same. So, yes, pretty good exercise. Uh, it'll be challenging to get 20 repetitions. It's okay if you're failing in between 15 to 20. That's absolutely fine. Post completing these on the same bench, I tried doing seated high cable curls. So we were doing this before standing and seated. It's absolutely the same exercise. You're just seat, uh, sitting down. No difference as such. The only thing is I felt a little bit comfortable because I was not on my legs trying to balance myself. I was locked in on the bench with both my legs on each side. So my body wasn't moving much. So yes, slightly comfortable to do this high cable curls this way. Love this exercise. The amount of pump I get after the first set itself when done with the right weight for 20 repetitions is quite good. I mean, I, I can't actually replace this exercise with anything else and this exercise has been quite brilliant as long as I can remember. I have, been, I have started doing this. I think it's mostly to do with the stretched position in which your bicep is in constantly away from your shoulder. So yes, great way. And the cable tension, which is already always there. There's no breakdown in the tension of the cable because of the positioning of, of the height of the cable. Then I moved on to tricep push downs. And as I mentioned earlier, all exercises are rope. So you can hold on to the one rope in your gym cable attachment and for good or bad you can complete your entire workout in that one cable attachment itself so yes close grip tricep push downs not actually completely close just a normal medium grip with a straight bar of course i've started doing this feels great uh, have more control over my tricep but and i also tend to get my forearms to touch my biceps and let my wrist open up a little bit and from there, pull it back down. So a little bit of forearm work going there, nothing much. Just my comfort, you need not do that. But if, yes, of course, you want to get the full range of motion. You want full extension of your tricep. Make sure you get those 20 
good quality repetitions with good amount of weight. I'm slightly leaning forward to get that full range of motion because if I'm standing straight, I'll hit my uh, hands or the bar on my thighs. Leaning forward gives me that space to get the full extension of my triceps and my elbows. Post completing those, I simply switched into hammer curls with the same straight bar. Very simple. I, I'm, I'm amused that you can do an entire arm workout with just a single cable attachment if you wish to. So yes, it's it's quite wonderful if you have a busy gym and you only have one rope, at, uh, rope attachment available. You can easily pull off a full blown intense arm workout without much difficulty. I think you can do the same with a barbell and a dumbbell also. Of course, there is uh, nothing which you can not do with those free weights. But cable, it's a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more comfort uh, and control, not comfort, control. So yes, cable curls with pronated grip, three sets, 20 repetitions for with a break of 60 seconds, good amount of forearm work, good bicep pump to finish off on a high. And we are pretty much done with our arm workout. Yes, that's it. You, you All you need is two exercises per muscle of your arm, triceps and biceps. And you should be good to go if you're done with good intensity and weight. Your arms should be full of blood and you should feel a good pump in them. Once done, I just finished off with a vertical hang to stretch out and a little bit of endurance training. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated. I hope you enjoyed this short and intense arm workout. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and have a good day.